Hey, what is up, everybody? It is Smirks, your favorite neighborhood barrack main here. We're going to play some Blastoise today. And by Blastoise, I mean Makoa. We're going to play uh, Barrier Reef or Turtle Main. Which one do I want? We're going Barrier Reef this game. We're going Haven first, I believe. Probably, uh, actually, maybe Blast Shields. Yeah, they got a Bomb King Eevee. We don't want to mess with that nonsense. I got some extended time, or expended distance on my dash, which is really nice. I also have ammo regen on Dredge Anchor, which I always like to build on Makoa, just at rank 1, just because it's awesome to grab somebody with your hook, shoot him in the face. Pretty fun. And also Barrier Reef. Barrier Reef is a core card for Makoa, because like every time you activate your shield, um, I think it's every certain amount of damage that you take, the cooldown is reduced by... Forget how many seconds. A lot of seconds. There's a lot of cooldown reduction on it if you max it out, and it's really, really handy because you can just shield, 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 shield. And you can heal while you're in the shield, which is really nice. Hell, and I just got hooked. All right. Starting off this match with a bang. Here we go. Hook you right back. Get out of here, kid. All right. This could be trouble. I'm getting a shield out for my Grok. Gonna shoot around this corner. I bopped somebody somehow. They got shielded, or our buff got hooked. Hook you. Go away. Okay. <clears throat> That's an EV teleport. We're gonna go back on this point. This bomb king's in the way. I'm gonna use my shield to make sure that his uh, the stun from Grumpy Bomb doesn't go on me. I can't reach him. I'm sad. There, we just punched him one shot, and then Drogos, or I mean Droxus, just last hits him for me. Because I don't do damage. Here goes an EV. She's going left. I know where she's going. I'm gonna see if I can grab a hook on her. Yeah, boy. All right. And she ran away. Still gonna try to shoot at her just to pressure her out because she's not looking behind her and wait, we might have somebody flanking from behind her through that passageway if they see her. Get another quick hook off, dash away so I don't get stunned, throw out my shield because Grok needs some help and I gotta protect this totem from this Makoa. He's trying to hook me, I'm trying to hook him. It's just a big old hooking party over here. Get the knock up on him, shoot him once more, watch out for the Knessa behind me, I might die here. I'm not going to die here, I'm just kidding. Another hook, look at that, put me on the team, coach. Oh my god, I'm the freaking best. It's gonna push this payload while the rest of my team does work as always. Pull out a cheeky little taunt. I can't reach anybody, that's the one thing I hate about Makoa is the arc on his shot. I'm finally starting to be able to, re to uh, like read it figure out what I can do with it, but I, I still feel like I miss every other shot, it seems. Also, people can shoot through that bush. I, I know that. I guess they can see me. He's got a shield out, so it's not much use to me fighting over here. There is a Knessa slow on the ground. I'm ignoring it for now. Never mind. There's an Eevee behind me. I probably should not have ignored it and dashed away because I'm stupid. Oh, well. The past is the past, boys. Heading right back out to the point. Uh, yeah. Stick him with Blast Shield, just because, seriously, Eevee does way too much damage, especially if she's just, like... It's really nice to build Blast Shields if you have an Eevee that's, like, TPing all around you, all up in your grill, you know? Hello! He's dead. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Peace out. I don't know how I brought that screen up, but I, I got it to go away, so I guess that's something. Alright. Can somebody please Blast this shield for me? Thank you. There we go. Alright. I got ult, I got ult, I got ult. I'm just gonna run away, run away. This was, a, this was, this is probably a dumb idea. I'm a little overextended. And by a little, I mean very overextended. He has ult. Oh, God. I can't, I can't hook him. I, yep, he hooks me. I'm dead. Oh, well, that was a dumb play by me. If you're, uh, if you're watching, thinking you can learn something at home, um, don't do what I just did. Don't, don't run in all alone and then pop your ult just for no reason. It's a dumb idea. Either way, I think we can get this this pull because, or this push, not pull. Dude, it is, it's early in the morning. English is still pretty hard sometimes. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a very easy push considering as soon as I died, the rest of my team just cleaned up for me, which is awesome. Teammates OP. All right. Just want, that's what I wanted to wait for. I wanted to wait until that bomb was, those uh, bombs were detonated and I could get in there. There's an EV ult. I'm going to back out. There's more bombs on the ground. Not going to stand on those. Not going to put anything down on those. Hopefully my Grok doesn't get too close to that. I need healing. I really need healing. I wish my healer would heal me. Please heal me. I'm going to die here. There we go. Oh man. Look at these clutch heals. It's like we're, it's like, it's like we're telepathically connected, but not, but not quite. Get on the point. I need to get on the point. I need to get on the point. We're going to fail this push. 
Um, I wish- the one complaint I have about this game is I wish there was an indicator for where the actual, like, radius for the push being activated is. Ah, uh, how am I still alive? How am I still alive? This is- oh my word, dude, this is just dirty. Uh, gonna get out now. I'm gonna get out now. Yep, I'm backing, I'm backing away. I- alright, Grover's hold is down. We can take all these guys out. Dirty hook on you. Try to knock him up, but I missed, but it's okay because the rest of my team is here. And Kness is just being a dumb. There we go. Try to block out his bombs with my shield. To strafe around him, distract him while people come in from behind. And there we go. And that is a successful push. That is how you play Paladins. Except for that one time when I ulted and then got, like, immediately killed. That was pretty sweet. Uh, apparently, Arcassi is having some technical difficulties, but I don't think it's really making that much of a difference. Yeah, next up we're gonna go, yep, Veteran, and then Tier 1, Cauterize, just because on my on the this deck I have a lot of extra health. I love it. I love it. Um, I've just recently realized how amazing building extra health on a lot of front lines is, especially since the Wrecker buffs and etc, etc, etc. It's just nice. It's nice to have that extra health, especially on Makoa. I think I add 400 health. Maybe 500? I don't know. Either way, it's a lot of health. Super convenient. Just gives you that little extra oomph just to, you know, get out of stuff and 1v1 people. This is what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to try to flank around side, catch somebody out of position, but they all went the opposite way. So we're just going to grab the Eevee and jump in there because she's already dead. Uh, I'm getting out my shield for this Bomb King, and that is an amazing Grok turret, or totem. Throwing it out right in the nick of time. Uh, this buck might die. Mm, nope. All right, he's fine. He's a god. Buck OP, boys. And this looks like another easy cap. Already got it at 57%, and we've been on it for maybe, what, 30 seconds? We did have, like, three or four people on it at one point, and I have my ult once again. Hopefully I don't do anything stupid with it this time. Um, whether that actually happens remains to be seen. All right. Escorting a payload. There's a bomb king behind me. I don't want to get stunned. They're covering my team is covering off the options So I know I'm safe. So I just canceled my shield early It's gonna go for some lobs. Evie's trying to sneak around left I don't think that's actually going to happen because all of my damage dealers are out there Why wouldn't she want to help them? I got a hook. I'm just gonna shield to get my Droxus out Because he's my baby. All right, and he's fully healed. We are good. Um, too often I see frontlines play very selfishly where they only stay on the point or they only, like, zone. They don't pay- you, the, the, the art to the frontline is figuring out where your team is, how you can play with them with your shields, and how you can position yourself to basically eliminate all the, all the possibilities. And while I was talking, I got sidetracked, didn't realize how far out I was. I'm going to die here. I'm definitely dead here. But yeah, when you're frontline, um... I, I know front lines can be pretty easy to just run in and go balls deep on everything and just pray that your team takes care of everything, but it if, it doesn't always work that way. You have to uh, make sure that you... Yeah, I also fat-fingered my dash in there. I, don't, I didn't really react to it, but I was too busy talking to, like, actually freak out for entertainment purposes. Yeah. Um, always make sure that your positioning is in a place where you're close enough to not only the enemy, but also your own teammates that you can throw out a shield, like I did with that Androxus about a minute ago, 30 seconds ago, I don't know, when I when he was getting healed by the Grok, so I threw out the shield while they were shooting at him so he could get around the corner. That, that was a perfect example. I'm not that great at positioning. I don't think I am, but I like to think of myself as more of just a like, oh crap, stuff's happening. Let me react really fast. Hopefully it'll work out kind of player. That's how I am. I messed up on that Cassie shield, and that's GG. Alright, so as we're taking a look at the scores and rewards, I want to thank you for watching and joining me today. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Uh, or maybe go give money to charitable causes. Because it's a good thing to do. Okay, I'll see you later. I am close enough